Ted Cruz dropped out. I had to ask, was that real? <laughs> Say word. Now, this is how disconnected I am, everybody. Ted Cruz dropped out. When, when did that happen? Like a little, like it just happened when I was, I was on the air. I was getting messages from everybody like Ted Cruz dropped out. Ted Cruz, like it just happened. Ted Cruz dropped out. Okay, so I'm going to do um, some more research yeah. on that and figure out what's going on. But it makes sense, right? So Indiana was called for Donald Trump before the primaries. I mean, before the polls even closed good. Donald Trump won. Um, and yes. it looks like he won by some significant margins. So um, it's it's it makes sense that he's out. Um, so so what do you think that what does that mean now? I mean, I have my idea of what it means. I don't once Ted Cruz dropped out, the likelihood of a contested convention um, diminished significantly. Do you think the GOP is just going to take their bets and their hedge their bets with um, with Kasich? Not with Kasich so much as I mean, well, well, you know, Cruz Trump. still holds on. I'm, well, but, well, Cruz still holds his delegates, right? Cruz still holds his delegates as of unless I see him say otherwise, you know, you still have, um, what's your boy, Rubio still has his, uh, I mean, so it's still like, any, Trump still has to get to the number, has Trump got, I mean, Trump still has to get there, right? Right. So right. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm really not sure, but like, I have always said, Ted Cruz is the one that scares me. I yeah. do not want that man as president or vice president. He absolutely scares me. I see trying to bring in his backup from Carly Fiorina, that didn't help. Yeah. him um, much at all uh, <laughs> his daddy <laughs> got on all. TV like the other day his daddy got on TV the other day and basically said like you need to vote for my son or you know that's a vote for God or whatever yeah. basically if you don't vote for him you're going to hell I'm sure that doesn't <laughs> go over well and um, you know my guess at the, at the end of my hour Chris actually said something, something else came out about his dad which I totally did not see so I don't know if there's maybe some dirty family cruise secrets were going to come out or what was going on but Ted Cruz is gone. What yeah. will the GOP do now that there is no savior? There is no one. Um, I, you know what? The most you know, amazing no thing, though, okay. Noah, the most amazing thing is that John Kasich is still in here. Like, does it make any practical sense for John Kasich? And he has to be said he is there. He is not. He's not dropping out until someone either gets the number or the, the convention. Uh, Bernie is still up fifty-three-three to um, forty-six seven with sixty-five percent forty. So so far, Bernie's up by a little bit over six points. Yeah, um, he's looking good in Indiana. Um, so what's the delegate count? What's steady. what's the what's up for grabs tonight in Indiana? Um. Let me see real quick because I couldn't. I had it up earlier. We'll get those delegate counts. So, but that, that's really what I want to talk about is I, I have to talk about uh, Ted Cruz dropping out. I think out. it's 83. I think we're, we're looking at another 83 delegates tonight. 83 delegates tonight. Okay, that's great. So, the thing that's still shocking to me is John Kasich's strategy, Anoa. He has been the worst performing Republican throughout the entire primary contest yet he is still in the race after jeb bush chris christie marco rubio Rand paul all these people dropped out and and t and john Kasich is still here that makes you know is that a strategy i mean it's obviously a strategy because now it's a clear two-man competition one who gets no ratings and the other uh, no poll rankings and then and then uh donald trump so what happens if John Kasich actually manages to go to a contested convention and win? That, that that's that's f fascinating to me when you consider the other candidates that were so much stronger, dropped out so much sooner. And here's John Kasich just lingering in the background, refusing to let go. What do you think? Um. I, I think that maybe, I mean, maybe you'll see, maybe, maybe Republicans will look and see, well, maybe there's something, you know, valuable there. Maybe there's something we can do to kind of broker or whatever. But I, I, I really feel like, I mean, I really don't know what leg Kasich has to stand on. Um, he does that is someone in the chat room just said he outpolls Hillary. That is actually a good thing. He, you know, it's not like it's Trump outpolls Hillary right. and Kasich, you know, does it or whatever. Like we're looking at, you know, possibly, you know, stopping the Trump mobile. Kasich is like, you know, the last best Republican hope. It seems like unless they have some other broker agreement that will happen. Right. Um, you know, a, 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 a Kasich Trump. I don't even know if they would do that. That would be maybe kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, like but Kasich, I don't know what's what has motivated him. Maybe this is his like last one shot at the brass ring. Mm -hmm. Um 
Yeah, so somebody else said, and this is, this is what I heard earlier, Cruz probably dropped out because he doesn't want to hear about his father's possible connection to Lee Harvey Oswald. And um, so, okay, that has so, come out earlier today. Yeah, let's talk about that. Cruz's father, Cruz's father allegedly has a connection um, to Lee Harvey Oswald, well, which would mean uh, a connection to the JFK uh, right. assassination. assassination. Now, so everyone is discrediting it immediately because what is a National Enquirer was the the the, uh, the outlet the that, yeah. uh, that came out with the image and and so everyone is automatically discrediting it. But the National Enquirer um, does have some some history of um, accuracy <laughs> on other stories. And so I, I don't know. Will it be interesting to actually see what that was? I, I don't understand Ted Cruz dropping out. But if there's anything whatsoever true at all about his father Even and Lee, uh, Harvey Oswald, then I can understand him dropping out much clearly. Right. Yeah. And even if there isn't something true in that story, it's possible that they're getting closer. There's something else mm -hmm. that him dropping out needs to prevent, whether he was aware of it or there's something else with his father in particular. Um, it's, it's just but you're right. Like Ted Cruz has been so adamant about staying in there. For him to just suddenly, I was, I, I asked the chat room, I said, are we, are we serious? Are, is it, are, is somebody <laughs> pranking me right now? <laughs> are we trying to get me to say something on here that's not true? But <laughs> apparently that is what happened. Um, it's, it's, it's wild. But the fact that Kasich, as poorly as he's doing amongst the Republican field, he polls better than Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. Um, that's that's that, what, that that is his one saving grace. That's that's his one argument going forward. Right. That he's a little bit more balanced. He actually has, you know, legislative experience. Um, you know, he keeps claiming he's done well in Ohio, whatever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Jeb Bush claimed that he did yeah. well in Florida. So that's uh, I think the measurement of what's good and what's a great job is actually I mm -hmm. showed up for duty. That's that's the measurement of uh, of doing yeah. good.